Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to create, translate, add, and embed subtitles to any video, so now you can reach a worldwide audience. Goodbye. Longtime Tinkernut fans will note that I've covered topics like this in the past. But the purpose of this video is to be a one-stop shop for transcribing, translating, adding, and embedding subtitles into movies as well as your own videos. This is great for people wanting to expand to a worldwide audience. I'm breaking this down into four sections. Transcribing the video to subtitle files, translating these subtitle files into different languages, adding the files to your video, and then embedding the files into your video. The first step is the most difficult transcribing your video. Transcribing means to write down everything that's said in the video and when it's said. If it's a video you created, then YouTube makes this step a lot easier because every time you upload a video to YouTube, it automatically transcribes it for you. To see the transcription, just go to your video page and select Edit Captions Subtitles. From here, you can download the captions to your computer and then open them up in a text editor to change them. Because as helpful as YouTube is in making the captions, they're rarely ever accurate to what you're actually saying. Unless you can tell me what an include condo race tap is. If it's a popular TV show or movie, you can try downloading an SRT for it at moviesubtitles.org. Or you can create your own using the TV and movie scripts found at simplyscripts.com to provide the accurate dialogue. If you downloaded your caption file from YouTube, you should notice that it's in an SBV file format. This is YouTube's proprietary subtitle format. But this format doesn't really play well with other subtitle programs, so before we go any further, we need to convert the caption file into a more widely accepted format. With your caption file open, select the entire text and copy it to your clipboard using Control c then head over to this link and paste your text into the box and click convert. After that, click copy to clipboard and then paste it back into your text file and go to file, save as, select all files and call it captions.srt. Now we can use the SRT file to translate our captions. Just head over to translate.google.com toolkit to bring up the Google Translator toolkit and then click upload. Browse to your captions.srt file, give it a relevant name, and then select the from and to languages and click upload for translation. After it processes and you see the results, you can click share, download, and download the translated file. When you have all the translations you want, you can start adding them to your video. If it's for your YouTube video, you can just upload them to the captions and subtitles page that we were at earlier. If you want to distribute the subtitles with your video, all you have to do is put the SRT files in the same folder as the corresponding video. Most media players will auto-detect them and add them to the video. If it doesn't, then you should be able to go to your video settings and choose the subtitle track manually. If you want to embed the subtitles into the video, then you'll need some special software. If you use Windows, the best program to use is called Subtitler, which you can find here. Before you can use Subtitler, you'll have to convert your video to AVI format. You can use a free program such as Format Factory found at formatoz.com, and then you can follow the instructions here to convert it to AVI. You also want to download and install Virtual Dub and extract it. Then you can download the Virtual Dub subtitle filter and extract it to your Virtual Dub plugins folder. When you've got all that done, open up Subtitler, hit Control O on your keyboard, and navigate to your captions.srt subtitle file, and then click Open. Then hit Control P on your keyboard and find your AVI video file and click Open. If you want, you can preview it and make any necessary adjustments, and then when you're satisfied, go to File, Save As, and choose to export your subtitles as Substation Alpha, or SSA. Then click OK and Save. Now go to File again and select Embed Subtitles. Under Virtual Dub's folder, browse to where you extracted Virtual Dub, and then under Output Video File Name, you can choose where to save your video. 
If you only want to render part of it, you can check preview mode and select an amount of time to render. Otherwise, click next and OK. This part will probably take a long time, but when it's through, you should have a video titles embedded into it. All right, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.